previously on the dragon ship. You know, what are you guys' thoughts on like, you know, Michael Sartain, Sterling Cooper, and, and Justin Waller or Jay Waller? These guys kind of these guys have been in this space for a hot minute and definitely have made an impact and are connected literally with everybody in this space, including the Tates. So what are your guys' thoughts on those guys? So I don't know much about um, Sartain, but uh, I do know uh, Justin and I know Sterling or know of them. I've uh, interacted with them several times and I think that they're just going to keep doing what they're doing. They're going to keep helping men out whatever situations that they can help it with. Well, and yeah, both, I, both those guys I've met hung out with personally and they're both yep. stand-up guys sterling i consider a friend yep um you know and they know what they're doing man they, they're doing the right things as far as promoting their stuff jay, jay jay i don't know as well he was he was uh really cool to me though when uh we hung out i was at his place um when he uh, was doing a show with john and you know, it was more or less not you know it was in the background but you know, we had a good chance to talk he's a very hospital dude hospitable guy good seems like a good dude you know from from meeting him and sterling vouches for him and sterling's a friend so that's that's good enough for me you know unless it's proven otherwise seems like you know cool you know cool person but as far as they're there sterling has his niche he's very good at that niche he's going to continue that um who know i don't know what jay's plans are because he's a, he's a businessman first you know and he you know, his businesses take precedence over the internet as they probably should. So, I mean, he's going to do what is best for him. It'll be interesting to see what he does. You know, actually, yeah, I see Sterling moving in that direction too. More businessman, and I think yeah, nothing, and but quite frankly, as he should be. Grow. You know, in a way. I mean, they're growing. Both of them are growing their presence, and I think they'll be in extremely high demand in 2023 for higher end podcasting. Both of them. Uh, oh, yeah. Those guys very much be pushed at the higher end. Uh, I also see rolling Rolo being pushed at the higher end. Some doors will open for him, uh, you know, for sure. His level of haters is increasing. So his level of fame <laughs> is definitely increasing. Uh, he has a lot. He's brought a lot of good talent up into the space and we got to give him his kudos for that. I mean, look, he's got, He's got those young young filmmakers I got to meet personally. All these guys I've met personally, uh, stand up guys, uh, the Red Pill Lions. I met those young guys. Talk about work at these guys work with nothing, and produce some amazing shit. So I see those guys really expanding. Uh, and and you got to keep in mind, all these guys are up against the logarithm and the human screening process, the shadow banning that takes place. All of them are. I think their popularity is actually far outstrips what you see in their numbers. I really do. And, and what surprised me is I didn't think so, but I, I was shocked at how many people actually knew of them outside of, outside of what I considered the sphere. So 